Today's job is wet weather program because it's still raining. It's been raining for two days, hasn't really stopped at all. Oh, and we're still leaking. But for now, I'm working on our outboard fuel tank. We've got a 140 litre fuel tank that's been installed under the seat here and all the hoses were hardened, leaking, perished, not connected with clamps and so on. So I'm just redoing all of that. I've got new pumps, I've got new valves, everything I need to do that. I will work on that while it's raining and then I will move on to our storage behind the seat or behind the fuel tank which is over here as well. So I got to sort all that out, cut it, put some doors in so we can get in there. Just out of a matter of interest, what I've done here is I've got some heat shrink. It's a little bit small. I just had it fitting over the hose clamp, but I'm going to put some heat shrink on here to try and stop the end bit of the hose clamps sharp, always cut your hands and all that sort of thing. So I'm going to give this a try. I haven't tried it before, but I'm going to put heat shrink over the hose clamp like so on, shrink it down, and hopefully it provides a nice, you know, non-sharp surface so that when you're pumping, you don't get cut hands. We'll give that a go, although that one's still sharp a little bit too. But anyway, at least that one's gone. We will see how that goes. So our fuel tank is all done for the tender or the dinghy. I just need one T-piece which is on order so I can connect in all the breathers and it's all done and happy. So that should be good now. No more fuel smells in the saloon. So on to the next job. Cutting some wood. Today's effort, I have cut out the back one, Whoa, there it is, down there, and I've cut out the front, I've made some doors for it, we've got the hinges, so tomorrow I will strengthen this piece, because I've chopped so much out of it, and then I will paint it, put it all back together, then we should have access behind there for storage, we're going to put spare parts and hard to get to things there because it's a little bit difficult to get in but still that's a lot of space so that'll be great and i'm making space by getting rid of all of our dvd covers i just went crazy at the op shop and bought lots of dvds for when we have no uh no internet and that sort of thing or we forget to download movies and now they're all going to be in here rather than take up a ton of a cupboard. Yay! We should just use a memory stick or hard drive and put a million videos on it. If we were that advanced, yes. But anyway. But at this stage, this is what we're doing. Oh, <laughs> sounds like there's another disc in there. Always <laughs> <laughs> the last one. Never goes on. <laughs> uh, but you've done an amazing job. What a difference. All oiled. Stained. Inside and out. So good. Nice. 
But watch this. It does more, more tricks. Because now. Yeah, it comes all the way up. Lift it up to there. Cool. Get in under there. And when we get our new vacuum cleaner, we'll be able to vac it. <laughs> Look at that. So Since I'm into modifying furniture at the moment, we have mentioned previously that we have this bit that sticks out for our table here and it's a real pain because I need to get under this floor plate often and to do that we need to pull off the chair we need to unhook it and move it out of the way and you might think that's easy but when you do it like every day you sort of have enough of it unlock it and then move it out of the way and it takes up a lot of room so we've decided that we're going to get rid of this fixed little seat I'm gonna uh, I don't know somehow fix up the end here and we're going to get a movable type soft semi firm poof that you can move around you can sit here or you can put over there to put your feet on and so on so that is our plan and that's what I'm gonna do so I'm into it we're chopping it somehow I don't know yet here and here we're putting this bit on the end with enough clearance for the floor plate to lift sticking it all on chopping the pillow the cushion putting it back and then later on we will get a another poof to go here like I said but for now it's out it's going to the scrap heap well it will be at the scrap heap when I'm finished anyway and just so you know, a poof is a cushion or a, a ottoman or something like that. We're old school, mate. Don't you like my poof turn? I always call him a poof. Foot poof. We're not trying to get up to <laughs> After a big day, I have finished cutting our seat. It looks almost like it was meant to be like that. Now Catherine, Catherine's job, to sew the pillow. I've got a dance floor. Woohoo! <laughs> I can moonwalk. <laughs> I can moonwalk, oh my gosh. <laughs> A lot more space does three things plenty of space now which is great much much easier to get in behind the table much easier and one less thing to fly around if we tip sideways because I was gonna have to secure that little seat because it was just sitting there with two little bolts to hold it there so three things all done how easy it's going to be to get behind the table now. Oh, oh. so good. Yeah. Meant to be. Can't even tell. Bloody awesome. Look at that. I'm happy. And me too. You're happy too? I'm happy too. Another day, another mission for Carl. What are you doing today, Carl? Well, about, two, I don't know, two weeks ago, was it? When we were doing... What were we doing? Oil change on the generator. We found that the cooling hose had perished around the end here. Actually looks like a preschool kid has chewed it off. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know what's going off there, but it was all perished around the clip. So I'm putting in a new cooling hose that's not perished. Better to do it here than out there, I figure. You don't want to take it to the primary school for chewing first? No, no, I made a nice cut on here. <laughs> I cut it like an adult. I don't know what happened, like I said, with the other one. No anyway. offence to the person who did cut it, in case you're watching this. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so, new hose, and we should be good. Got a little fuel leak as well, that I'm going to Another try one. and fix. Yep, on the injectors on this as well. I don't know why, what's going off. But anyway, we'll have a look at that as well. 
and then we should be good. Job yeah. number one. Yeah. <laughs> what are you up to? Don't, don't show him my dodgy job. <laughs> Look at this. Carl does all the nice work and makes everything you all nice. You told me to do it like this. <laughs> and, I was going to cut it off. And, and, and we're like, oh, you, you just need to sort out the cushion, Catherine. She goes, okay, I'll just fold it over and stitch yeah, it up. Bullshit. Don't, don't you throw me under a bus, bitch. <laughs> uh, whose idea was that? Yours? No, impossible. I wouldn't, yes, it I wouldn't do a dodgy like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Only dodgies Carl does is when he gets me to do it. <laughs> so That's that, right. I wouldn't do a dodgy it, like it, that. It doesn't um, affect his uh, <laughs> credibility. Credibility. That's it's right. Just my credibility. Non dodgy goes to Carl. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. So, but the reason is we are going to get new covers one day, so we'll just do it that way and it'll be fine. It's extra cushioning. Not really. I just made that up to make Catherine feel better. We are getting more cushions. These are terrible. The what is that? That copper pipe. It's too wet. Nothing. It's empty. There's no wet. Oh my god. Treasure. It's treasure. It needs to be some good news, isn't it? It's dinted. Were they doing it for the fuel or something? I've got no idea. But it's out. Xavier, Xavier, if you're watching this, please let us know. Did you do something? Was this you? No. And I what's it for? I reckon it's Dave. Dave, if you're watching, let us know. What is this for? Girly jobs. Got to go and do the washing. And I know that's sexist, but guess what? That's my job. Carl does all the man jobs. That is the facts of our relationship.